Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and yes, it has finally happened. After all, pretty much an entire season of build-up, they finally got divorced. And honestly, I, I think it's for the best at this point. So, Toby and Kate are like trying to save their marriage, and Toby decides to take the job in Los Angeles, and he just walks in a sad little office with no window. And I kind of feel bad for him, but, like, if he's qualified for a good job, like the one he had in San Francisco, why can't he get one similar to that in Los Angeles? Is nobody hiring in Los Angeles, the second biggest city in the United States? I find that's the most unrealistic thing in this entire series. And him and Kate go to couples therapy, and he gets mad because he's, like, late all the time. And you know what, Toby? I feel your struggle. I hate when people are late for things. That's my number one pet peeve. Despise it when people are late for things. I I have really bad anxiety, and I just I just can't be late for things. I don't know if I'm late for something. I just have like a panic attack. And yeah, I mean, I get Toby. You know, <laughs> Kate's like, oh yeah, I'm late. <laughs> and you know, after they argue all the time, um, Toby says that Kate is. You know, keeps comparing him in whole mind to Jack, and nobody could be as good as Jack in whole mind. And I don't really know how valid that is. Like, is he implying that Kate wants to um, marry her father? That's a little weird. This isn't Game of Thrones. So they're screaming at each other, and it really upsets Jack, and they decide, you know what? Like, I think it's best for the kids that we divorce. And they're actually, like, kind of getting along still as they're divorcing. And Toby really wants to get back together. But Kate's like, nah, I'm good. Because they re she realizes it's probably for the best. And that the story won't end there. And, you know, that's nice. You know, just because they broke up doesn't mean they can't be friends. And doesn't mean they don't love each other anymore. It's just a different, you know, just a different kind of love. Well, eventually, um, Philip and Kate start dating, and I actually like Philip now. They made him nicer than he was in the other episode, well, like, last season, I think. And he opens up about his marriage and how, like, he was breaking up with his girlfriend and then she left to go live with her mother, but then the cab, like, she got killed in a, in a car accident as she was leaving him, which is, like, the most tragic thing. I thought it was going to end with, and then my wife left me. But no, it ended with my wife left me, and then she died. So that's very traumatic. And I like how he explains, like, you know, just because I don't talk about it 24-7 doesn't mean I don't think about it. Which is really good, because, like, you know, the Pearsons are known for talking about their problems all the time. And, you know, they don't exactly consider other people's problems all the time. And I like when um, Philip is about to marry Kate, and Toby sits him down, and, like, you know, he, he's fine with it, but he just wants to make sure that um, Philip's going to be a good, like, stepdad to them. And I think that's sweet, you know? It's, like, nothing personal that Philip and Toby could still be fine with each other just because he's marrying his ex-wife. I like that. It shows maturity on both of their parts, honestly. And I thought it was really cute when um, the kids were say holding signs and say like, say yes, that was kind of funny. And um, I like when Toby finally realizes that, yeah, they could stay in each other's lives. Just, um, and, you know, they'd still care about each other even if they aren't married. Toby finally realizes that the day Kate's getting married. And meanwhile, like, Madison and Elijah are having a baby. So I guess they got married in the meantime. Kevin dates like five different people, but they're all like models or like spokespeople for various commercials, which I think is kind of funny. Randall's running for Senate, because of course he would. I think, you know, in the finale, he'd probably be like the senator, if not the president. I, I like when Toby um, meets his new level, because um, they both kind of have that like dry sense of humor that's kind of cute and it's nice that he finds love again you know the same way Kate did um it was kind of sad how like Rebecca took a while to get Philip's name right um but she's like oh yeah uh, uh Philip 
you know, and at the wedding we see that she thinks that Jack is still alive, which is very upsetting, you know, that's the next time trailer, and I'll probably talk about that more next week, but, you know, very realistic when it comes to dementia. And I like how, you know, the episode shows Kate, Philip, Toby, and Toby's girlfriend, I don't, I don't remember her name, sorry, and Jack's good wife in the future, or, like, watching him play piano, because, you know, it shows that, yeah, of course, they're still a family, he's, they, Kate and Toby still care about each other, even if they're no longer together. Doesn't mean I still don't like Kate that much, because it seemed like Toby was the one pulling in all the sacrifices to try to save the marriage, and it didn't even get saved anyway, so, I don't know, I would have liked to seen Toby say fuck it and go back to San Francisco, but, you know, then he would never see his kids, which is a big problem, so, you know, whatever's right for him. Um, I like this episode because it was kind of in a non-linear structure, similar to Citizen Kane, or just a bunch of David Lynch movies. So I thought it was unique in that way, you know, we saw like just a lot of flash forwards, probably more in this episode than we ever have. That makes sense because, you know, after this episode there's only six episodes left. (laughs) I'm just kidding. So yeah, I thought it was a very solid episode. The performances by Chrissy Metz was great, and the performance by Toby Zachtel, uh, I forgot his name, (laughs) sorry Toby, he was really good in it too, just, you know, uh, great performance of uh, like a couple splitting apart it's like marriage story except like you know more relatable because they're not like an actress and a director (laughs) i felt like that was my main problem with the marriage story is that they're just too like hollywood to be relatable so yeah what do you guys think about this episode down in the comments below and are you excited for kate's second wedding episode next week (laughs) uh let's see divorces from philip that'll be so like oh come on yeah, I enjoyed this episode, um, so click below and subscribe if you want to see my videos for next week. I'll also be doing videos on Doctor Who, uh, the new episodes, and Season 3, um, Better Call Saul, because I'm really excited about that coming back. But yeah, uh, until then, I hope everybody out there has a nice day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.